construction equipment made by Schwing, the optimum solution for all applications. Our products reflect the experience gathered in 50 years of development, research, production and marketing. Schwing set standards for more efficiency, increased economy, highest quality, absolute reliability and technical competence. Schwing unrivaled in consulting and service in West Germany and in more than a hundred countries of the world. More than 3,000 employees are producing for you in Germany, Austria, Brazil and in the USA. Schwing's invaluable advantage, close to the market, close to the customer. This Schwing service film is concerned with repair work on the flat gate valve, whose essential components, the hopper and pipe gate valves, possess fundamentally the same design. For this reason, we are restricting our video demonstration to the more easily accessible pipe gate valve. In some flat gate valve models, however, the two gate valve packages have different dimensions. In this case, observe the marks provided on a pair of cylinders. If they are present, the individual parts of both gate valve packages may not be interchanged. Cleaning the flushing containers. If the flushing liquid is very dirty, or there are deposits of fine concrete particles on the bottom of the container, the flushing device must be cleaned. To do so, we unscrew the top wing nut and take off cover, seal and battle plate. Then we remove the bottom wing nut, lift the bowl out of the holder and empty it. Dismantling the cylinders and gate valve rod seals. To avoid loss of oil during the following repair work, the concrete pump control gate valve must first be switched to the centre position. After marking the hydraulic hose, disconnect it from the cylinder, which should also be marked. Collect the oil flowing out to prevent pollution and put plugs on the connections to protect the hydraulic system from contamination. Then remove the hexagon nuts of the cylinder base together with the washers. These special nuts and washers are to be stored carefully. If the cylinder, which one should generally be able to pull off now, is seated very firmly, in dismantling use only a pulling off device like the one whose operation we'll demonstrate to you now. Turn the threaded nut into the cylinder. Pull off the cylinder by turning the threaded spindle in the nut. After this step, pull the seal set off the gate valve rod or take it off the dismantled cylinder. 
the same work is to be carried out on the opposite side. Before the gate valve rod seal is replaced, the condition of the gate valve rod itself should first be checked. Checking and replacing gate valve wearing part fittings. To check the gate valve rod, we put it in an end position, chosen at first at random. In this position, check the now longer part of the gate valve rod first in the vicinity of the casing. The main wearing zone is located here, and then at various other points with a sliding caliper. If this measurement shows a difference of more than three millimeters between the largest and smallest diameters, as here with this gate valve rod shown for clarification, replacement is necessary since otherwise sufficient sealing would not be achieved in spite of new seals. Repeat the check with the opposite end position on the other side. If replacement of the gate valve is necessary, we first put it again in the centre position. Then fold down the Siamese pipe section and remove the bolts and nuts on the right and left sides of the gate valve package. After that, remove the upper and lower bolts. Now loosen the lower Allen screw, but do not screw off since it serves as support for the gate valve package, and then remove the upper Allen screw. At this stage, secure the gate valve package against possible tipping over with the help of a second person. For the further repair procedure, the following steps are to be carried out. Remove casing nuts. Lift off top half of casing. Remove flat gate valve with shell and sleeves. Grease sealing faces. Grease new fittings and place in one half of the casing. Put on other half of the casing and screw together. Then check gate valve for smooth operation and remove any pressure mark by grinding slightly. Before mounting the regenerated gate valve package, the seals in the Siamese pipe section and control casing must be replaced and the sealing face is greased. Replacing the piston seal set. If oil constantly splashes out of the flushing containers during the changeover operations, this is an indication of a faulty piston seal. To replace it, we first remove the bearing bush and piston by tapping the cylinder on a wooden block. If these two parts cannot be loosened, the pulling off device is to be used. If severe damage is found when checking the bearing surfaces of the cylinder, piston and bearing bush, these parts must be replaced. To renew piston sealing, first remove the old O-ring seals of the bearing bush, 
cream the bush and then put on new o-ring seals. Now to the piston. Clamp it in a vise equipped with protective jaws and remove circlip locking ring and supporting ring. Then the piston bush is pulled off the piston along with the sealing gland set. After that, lever the O-ring seal out of the groove and remove the piston ring and grooved ring seal set. Clean piston pin and piston bush thoroughly. When putting on a new grooved ring seal set, ensure that the mounting position is correct. This also applies to putting the new sealing gland set on the piston bush. Also replace piston ring and O-ring seal. We then place the pre-mounted piston bush onto the pre-mounted piston pin and then mount supporting ring and circlip locking ring. After moistening the cylinder wall with hydraulic oil, the complete piston can be inserted in the cylinder. Only wooden objects may be used to press the piston up to the stop. Never use, for example, an iron rod. After the bearing bush is inserted, the cylinder is ready for mounting. Replacing the gate valve rod seal set and mounting the cylinder. Before the cylinder is mounted on the gate valve, all parts must be cleaned. Then put on the new seal set in this order. O-ring seal, supporting ring, form lace ring, spacer ring, form lace ring. Grease the seal set well. Subsequently, the flange of the cylinder is pressed back. Then the cylinder is guided over the gate valve rod and the seal set is inserted. Do not use metal objects to drive in parts and ensure that the mounting position is correct, that is, flush connection pointing down. After that, the cylinder flange is guided over the stud bolt. The washers and nuts are mounted and tightened crosswise with a torque wrench. Please refer to the respective table in our written repair instructions for the torque values.
the nuts should be retightened after approximately four operating hours. To complete cylinder mounting, the hydraulic hose is connected. mounting the flushing containers. After the flushing container has been placed in the holder, the hoses are mounted onto the cylinders. Subsequently, flushing oil is filled up to the brim of the container. Then mount the battle plate, seal and cover and screw on both wing nuts. repairing the hopper gate valve. As already mentioned, the repair work on pipe and hopper gate valves is identical. To replace the hopper gate valve though, the concrete hopper, we're only showing this here, must additionally be dismantled and the hydraulic lines of the agitator must be disconnected. <laughs> 